Today we're roasting more airsoft loadouts that were submitted by you, the viewers, on the BB Warrior Discord. So let's get right into it. So I just knew doing this video that we were going to see Ghost Masks, but this one is different. It doesn't look like the one in the game. It looks like if there was like a Chad version of it, I guess you could say. But like, I, I have to know, are these comfortable to play with? Like one of these photos, he doesn't have eye protection. But in the other ones, it kind of looks like he does, or it's edited, or maybe it's mesh or something like that, and that's not cool. But, like, wearing these to games has to be uncomfortable. Like, I don't see, like, yes, it provides protection to your face and your nose, but that can't be comfortable to wear an airsoft. It's got to get hot. Like, every time I see somebody bring one to the airsoft field, I'm like, what are you doing? It just makes zero sense to me. But otherwise, like, taking a look at the loadout, that's what? One of those classic army X9 pistol caliber carbines. You know, I hate to say it, my man, this is a pretty, pretty basic generic loadout. I can't really see the chest rig to give you an idea, but like, I just have to know why people are like, ah, oh, yes, I need to wear this ghost mask when I play airsoft. Now this, I can get behind. This one comes from Iron Physic. First off, MP5, instant, 10 out of 10 right there. But my man's got the green top and the brown pants. And if you've never tried that combo in airsoft before, undetectable if you live in the wood line. Absolute king right here. I'm looking at the setup and you know, I the, I can't tell what sort of plate carrier or chest rig that is rather, excuse me. But um, you know, that is interesting, but he actually submitted a couple of loadouts. So that's his like casual game and it's a gas MP5 as well. So that's cool in and of itself. Modern-ish Milsim loadout, like border war. Uh, and wow, you know, now it, it all checks out that he's a European airsofter. He's definitely giving off that vibe with the kit compared to an American airsofter. And then finally, we've got his retro Alice kit with, um, you know, an old school belt rig and stuff like that. Uh, I guess we've got to rate all three. We're going to give the first one a nice 9 out of 10 for the MP5. The modern one, we're going to give it a 6 out of 10 because it's got a full stock and I hate those. Uh, and then finally that Alice kit, we're going to give that a, um, let's give that a six as well. Not, not my favorite thing out there in the world. And we have our first bathroom picture of the video, which, you know, like part of this video was making the rule that you have to wear your kit. A lot of people just like send their loadout on the ground. And I think that's extremely boring. So adding in the uh, bathroom pic vibe, like this is just kind of chaotic, I guess. Like I'm looking at that, like first off, Where's your iPro King? Like you need that before you play Airsoft, but I can't be too mad. Looks like we've got some uh, Tiger Stripe on there and it looks like a Haley rig on a JPC or a Pharaoh. So like very basic, let's be honest with ourselves here. Got the Ops Core bump helmet. Uh, you know, I'm gonna give this a um, seven out of 10. At least it's a clean looking bathroom. Like nothing's like really wrong with it yet. So I guess we'll, that, that's a plus, I guess. I have some questions. So this kind of goes back to the idea of like, you can wear whatever you want when you play airsoft. We're all LARPing out in the woods or in some a building that could be used for something more productive. But like, why bring this to airsoft? Is this a meme? Like everybody again has their own preference between plate carriers, chest rigs, but my man has a AAP-1, not a bad pistol, don't get me wrong, and a shotgun in a scabbard. Why? Like, I just want to know the reasoning, the tactics behind this. Like he's got the shotgun shell loader thing on his hip and like maybe that's cool, but like this picture especially gives off the like, my daughter will be back by 10 vibes. Like this is, um, how do you carry water to an airsoft game as well? Like, you know, he's got the one tiger's mask, so that's cool. Um, I just like, why bring these loadouts? Like I guess this video series is really helping me to realize that like, People play airsoft differently than me, and that's totally okay. Like, we should all be able to play this stupid nerd hobby however we want. But this is, uh, I, I'm left with more questions than answers, honestly. Like, please explain yourself in the comments. Now, before we go any further in today's video, I just want to say a big thank you to our channel members who make videos like these possible. It's because of members that I'm able to go out and get new equipment, to have better cameras, and be able to take time off of work to not only go to events, but to make videos. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, there's some really cool perks like being able to watch videos early, getting exclusive emotes in our live streams, and more. If you wanna check it out, there'll be a link in the description below, or if you're on desktop, you can hit the join button to learn more information. But a huge thanks to our channel members for making videos possible, and let's get back into the roasting. Uh, 
We just went from get my daughter back on time energy to don't go to school tomorrow energy. Uh, this is based on, he's got a petition. This is what, Postal is that game? Um, I don't even want to rate this. Like, I feel like if I talk about this too much, something really bad's going to happen to me outside of Airsoft. So, um, those aren't iSafe goggles, are they? That's going to be my rate. So this is just interesting for me because I'm looking and it looks like my, my dude, this is some sort of, if this is an impression, it kind of reminds me of like Russia, SOF in Syria. Uh, my question is for the, for you dudes, cause he's got his AK on there. Why, why also bring a shotgun to airsoft? Like I get that, like if it's just cause it looks cool, that's understandable. I, I get that. You gotta have the cool drip when you go on the field, but like how practical is it to bring that secondary shotgun in? Like when do you need it in airsoft? Because all BBs do the same damage. Like, you know, is it just a drip thing? Like if this is your loadout, please leave a comment or if you've ever done this below, I just need to understand why we are doing this. But otherwise, you know, I, I do like the kit that's a uh, Haley or a Haley knockoff on some sort of plate carrier. So we're gonna give that a uh, seven out of 10. But yeah, you know, I just like, the, the shotgun thing is always, I've never quite understood it. And we've got some more Russian kit from him as well. And I gotta say, you know, the drip is immaculate. It looks like this was at a Milson West game, so that George Air Force Base. And uh, ATAX is just such a, wonderful camouflage pattern like it is my favorite for russian kit and i'm like 90 percent sure that's what he's wearing on the left uh atex cries are a interesting look with the uh telnashkas some russia boo is going to be the one to uh, be like you didn't say that right in the comments but you know i i can't hate on these loadouts i didn't realize that he submitted even more and then finally we've got another kind of like hmm this is completely different so how, how do we even start on this? So, so first off, he's got a machine gun, but he's actually got something to hold the box mag. So like, good job, you at least did that. Then we've got some rifle mags up front, fanny pack, and then what is that camo? Like, that's the one they tied into like a video game, right? Like, um, Project Honor is what they called it. That's what that is. Uh, I'm gonna be real, dude. I think the Russian kits are better. And as we're scrolling down, from this one, you've got a couple of loadouts here. Got another Russian one. Those are immaculate. Like I, I love the drip that you've got in these photos, especially these ATAC ones with the uh, Haley rig over the plate carrier. We can see it a little bit better in this photo. Those are immaculate. That's what you should stick to because that Project Honor, just not great in my opinion. But you know, I guess if we're gonna bundle these all together as a wholesale thing, we're gonna give it a um, eight out of 10. And then my man just keeps delivering. Like how many loadouts did he put in here? Cause we've got his original one up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loadouts. I guess everybody else is just gonna have to step it up. Like half the video is gonna be this guy, but they're just such good kits. And as we move on, like chocolate chip camo with a G3, this dude watched the first video and figured out what I like. like I love the G3. It is one of my favorite rifles. I do not own one in Airsoft because I've hated everyone that I've dealt with. Like the LCT has issues, although it's the best feeling one. I don't want to mess around with a gas one and the other AEGs are just super cheap. But like, God, the old school webbing over the chocolate chip with the G3, like this is immaculate. And you know, like seriously, everybody else is gonna have to step their game up. This just looks fantastic. We're gonna have to give this a, uh, Easy, 10 out of 10 right here. That chocolate chip with the G3 is better than the Rust 4 kits, and I like the Rust 4 kits a lot better than this, or I like the Rust 4 kits a lot compared to the other stuff. Somebody's raising the bar on these videos. Like, everybody else is just gonna have to do better. I'm sorry. All right, we got the homie Bluebird, who is a channel member with an FBI kit. And, um, you know, the thing that really I really love about this is that kel -Tec. I haven't seen one out on the field yet, but I think they look super cool. Even as a guy who doesn't like bullpups super much, I think that this is a neat loadout. And again, all that Ranger gear green stuff on there, I really like it. And oh, I, I didn't even catch that he's got like the flip down visor on his helmet. Um, that probably will shatter as soon as an airsoft BB hits it, but the drip is immaculate for photos. Uh, we're going to give this a 9 out of 10 because he's at a paintball field. And playing airsoft at paintball fields kind of sucks. But overall, cool loadout. So I have a huge soft spot for Ranger Green over Multicam. It is just like, 
Mwah. Chef's Kiss for me and Agent K does not disappoint here. The other thing that I find just hilarious about this loadout is that it looks like that's an M4 SOT mod by VFC. And my man has a gigantic scope on there. That is some Chad energy. And if you've ever not tried it before, the uh, front sight post does not get in the way. Uh, a lot of spiritist stuff here. So the, the drip is immaculate. Let's give this a uh, 8.5 out of 10 there because I love that color combo. And he's even got it on the sling as well. Now this submission from Trevor makes me feel ways. Like first off, the old school MBAF kits, absolutely hot. Don't get me wrong. Machine gun kit as well. Very, very cool. What I don't like is if he had like a Mark 18 or a Mark 12, beautiful kit. My man's got it set up for a rifle, but he's got a machine gun. And nothing aggravates me more than people who put together light machine gun kits that don't have a way to carry the spare box. Because like otherwise, this is a super hot kit. I love the M81, love the PCU top on there, but like, my man, what happens if your box breaks? Like, are you only going to go to rifle mags? Is that your plan? Like... Just so, like, like, if you're planning to run an airsoft light machine gun, expect to buy another drum because they're going to break. Like, it's just the weakest part of the system. So I'm going to give this kit a 8 out of 10. I mean, it's super hot. I wish I owned all of that. But my man, where are you going to carry that other drum? Okay, so we've got Callsign Wizard, who was in the last one. And this is um, significantly different than the last one that he submitted. So, like, first off, AK, big energy right there. Um, that looks like... Is that the unobtainium gear uh, dank robber? I can't tell, but like this gives off some chaotic, like Milson West insurgency uh, energy right here. And as well, you know, I gotta say, people are stepping it up when they're submitting their bathroom pictures. They're actually cleaning the bathroom, which means they either live with a woman or they live with their mom. But, uh, you know, I gotta give this a. Um, right, let's give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you for submitting to a, another video with a much different kit. Than last time. And before we go, I think that it's only fair that if we're going to be roasting other people's loadouts that I present one of my own. So here is, um, this is from about six years ago now, and I gotta say, this is a uh, pretty bad, absolute cringe right here. But, um, you know, make sure to let me know what you thought of the loadouts in today's video, as well as my own loadout. That's going to do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.